Hey, it's Robert from High Man ZXC. Come back, country legends. We miss you. Any case, KTHT, Cleveland, Houston, country legends. 97.1, Houston's only home for the country legends. It is now just another K-Love. Um, yeah. Corporate suits need to be going down and continue need to be replaced by normal people, not money grubbers. <laughs> yeah, EMF, $3.1 million acquisition of 97.1 KTHT, now KLVH, is K-Love. Yeah, do, do, do. I remember when this was a hot 97.1. <laughs> Houston's hottest hit music. I was on the second floor in the playroom of my semi-original house uh, in Northwest Austin. And I was waiting for my sister to come over to take me to go see Dude, Where's My Car in the theaters. Remember that movie? It was kind of, just kind of a silly show about some guys who can't remember what happened yesterday and they, I think they won like a bunch of money or something, but they owed a bunch of people, they got drunk, whatever. Any case, so that day I met Hot 97.1 for the first time, I was around like 1999, 2000. I'm going to miss, I'm going to miss Country Legends, 97.1, Houston's only home for the Country Legends, yeah, but, but, yeah, who cares? I, I, not who cares, but who cares? I'm tired of K Love and Air One. Oh man, Air One, uh, EMF needs to be banned from buying more radio stations. To, just like talk belongs on AM and not FM. Uh, can we keep the NPR and Christian stations below the 92 part of the dial, please? Oh my gosh, this is just getting too extreme. So in any case, I'm going to miss Country Legends on 97.1. So we got Talk in Dallas on 97.1 instead of Rock. And now we got Christian in Cleveland, Houston instead of cu Classic Country. And we got a translator playing now much better music than a real legit two real legitimate signals. I guess KVRP in I think Hack Hackstell that's like north of Abilene is the only real 97.1 left. Cause Cheap Channel, I mean Clear Channel, uh flipped the Great Eagle to the fake, I mean the freak 97.1. Remember, everyone, talk does not work on FM. They already had to replace their staff, which they just got. I think I heard, and they are restaffing with different people. <laughs> they did. That's the staff's not the problem. The problem is you took away the music and replaced it with boring talk. <laughs> we want a rock in Dallas, not talk in Dallas. <laughs> FM stands for music. And also, um, yeah, I prefer not, I don't know about you guys, but I prefer not to be preached or lectured to. So, yeah, the Christian music doesn't help at all either. <laughs> so, yeah, I like to think for myself and not have other people tell me how to live my life. So, yeah, EMF, you need to go. <laughs> it's becoming, it's becoming not very safe to be on the dial uh no, just um pick your poison or something you got the talk station on 971 in dallas and you got the christian station north of houston and you got a translator that plays better music than those two put together now well, we'll miss you country legends i'm so sorry to hear you go i think on the edge of change or something was the last Station was the last format. Was the last song. Oh, I'm so annoyed at this flip. But yeah. It's all because Radio 1 
couldn't keep all seven stations because of the annoying ownership cap. But it's kind of a good thing that there is a cap because then people would buy everything. Oh, well. Oh, wait. That's already happening anyway. Everything's merging. Scary time to be a radio listener because you're not getting any variety anymore. Just you're either getting the far left. Or you're getting the far right. There is no in-between anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's better to listen to your cassettes, CDs, or Pandora, where you can choose what you listen to. Not let big corporations dictate what you listen to. Think for yourself. Not let the same few formats dictate your life. I'm Robert from High Man ZXC. Let's stand up for mom and pop or what's left of them and leave corporate suits in the dust.